Hey guys, welcome back to- I'm finally not stuck in that thing. In this episode, we don't get stuck in things. Oh, dude, they have artifacts from our fucking universe? What the hell? I want to go to the fucking human- human museum. Wow. Computer. A box. A laptop. Oh no, that's pizza. Phone. Bark. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a painting. Test tubes. Kinda cool. Alright. I can dig it. I mean, come on, we're pretty interesting people. Okay. This is like a galaxy map. Am I in Mass Effect now? Oh, well, we don't quite want to use that. I do like how alien technology just kind of works with ours, you know? Just kind of like, no, no effort needed. No adapter or anything. Because that's just how it's going to be. I mean, maybe. You know, we do have wireless recharging, so maybe that's what, maybe that's what's going on right now, you know? Wireless recharging ATV suit. Wireless recharging of, uh... Whoops. Maybe I shouldn't have pressed that. Oh. Weapons and things like that. Wow, I wonder what these pistons to nowhere do. I am getting some fucking massive frame drops just looking in this direction. Did I have a computer built yesterday? Go fuck yourself. Oh shit, I'm on fire. While being in the air. I'm trying to see a theme with this guy. He seems to like his fire. Well, into the eye of Sauron we go. This boss fight has slightly changed from how I remember it. Chuckles mockingly. Oh shit, there's fucking balls everywhere. Alright. Crowbar's head, though. I don't think that's the solution here. I mean, he's asking really nicely. So, last time the solution was these things, but most certainly not the answer anymore. It's giving me rockets, so let's start using more rockets. Yeah, that seems to be doing something. Oh my god, what did I die to?
I like how Freeman doesn't reload the rocket launcher until uh, he knows the rocket has hit his target. That's a man who doesn't look at explosions. Your wizardry doesn't have no effect on your Harry Potter. You guys will certainly reap rewarding me. Okay, he's got fucking railguns now. Oh, it's fucking radiation, holy shit. <laughs> okay. Alright. So the entire solution last time was that, like, his thing, his whole, his whole spiel was, like... Do I just shoot at him now, or...? No, he's still getting hit by rockets. He doesn't like getting hit by rockets. No, it's not this either. I guess it's the thing above him? I mean, it's not giving me any more rocket ammo. Oh, well, there is something there. be something over there too. It's not that, is it? No. It very much points to something over there. Oh, that's completely out of ammo now. Oh, he's got a hole in the shield. I didn't even notice that before. Oh god. I think he's got a hole in the shield. I think I saw one. Still have a hole in the shield? Or maybe 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 my eyes are deceiving me. Oh wait, I'm supposed to take the shield. Okay.
Okay, it regenerates slowly over time. Oh, wait, there's these things. Okay. Alright, I'm starting to send this now. They have better. Ow. Where's the part where I get to just crowbar him in the fucking face? Seems to have an axe to grab with me. Alright, I kind of need more eight, uh, rockets. Not a lot of health. Oh, wait. That's one. Again, that kind of opened up a little bit more. Seems a little bit upset. Oh god. Uh Alright, I have no control over what I'm doing here. Yeah, like fucking red cut. Holy shit. All 
Alright. This may have been a bit excessive. I am inside. Okay, his head is opening up. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking game, dude. Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather in the hazard suit i took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons most of them were government property as for the suit i think you've earned it the border world zen is in our control for the time being thanks to you Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well... I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. Time to choose. So we're gonna try the first ending. I'm saving it here just so we can do it. So we're gonna do nothing and we're gonna let him end the game that way. It's time to choose. Is it though? Well, it looks like we won't be working together. No regrets, Mr. Freeman. Let's do the other one. Quick load the other one. Just to actually give you the, the real ending before we kind of do credits and talk. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that's kind of how the original game ended in the same way. Uh, so that's the end of this one. Uh, that's a fucking good game, though. It's really good. So, um... From a grand standpoint of it all, I wasn't a big fan of the final boss fight. I feel like that was probably the weakest part of the Zen portion. 
I mean, it was like, it was just way too much. And honestly, like, they had a really, there's some really cool stuff with uh, the original fight. I, I forget what what he's called. I, I can't pronounce his name, but they had he had an attack where he would portal you to places where you'd have to get out of. So I honestly thought they would, like, really make that more of a mandatory part of the boss fight kind of a thing. But no, nah, they didn't really do anything with that, so... Um, that's that's kind of my only... If I had any criticism, it would be that. Just uh, I didn't like the bo final boss fight. Um, everything else, though, absolutely fabulous. Um, the fucking Grognak fight was probably one of the best boss fights I think I've done in a long time. That one was really fun. Um, what else? They made it... They, they actually made Zen really long, uh, believe it or not. Like, I was really good. Well, I mean, believe it or not. Like, you've been seeing it up to now. Um, no, like, they, like it was like they actually went into... They kind of made, like, an alternate storyline that kind of fits more into, I guess, the Half-Life 2 lore, which is, like, uh, the Vortigons aren't really your enemies, so... Um... Which, which was pretty cool. I, I actually really like that angle. That was really cool. So, worth the money. Definitely worth it. Um, I wonder if they regret, because uh, <laughs> remember, remember when this first came out, it wasn't for sale. It was a free mod kind of thing. So, because um, it's one of those things I, I, I look at this, I'm like, wow, this should have, they actually should have charged for this probably from the beginning. Because uh, it's just really well done all the way. Past developers? Oh. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess these guys departed or whatever. <laughs> Past senior developers. But, like, it's, it's honestly like kind of like a full game kind of thing. You can tell, though, that when it gets to Zen, the style kind of changes. Some for the better, some for the worse. I think probably, see, the, 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 the problem with their alternate kind of timeline kind of angle that they, that they played it at is that because you didn't fight the Vortigons anymore, um, you were literally just fighting like two kinds of enemies, really, or two or three. Um, I mean, they made a couple of variants of like the uh, the small guys that came after uh, the whatever the fucking I don't know what they're called. The small guys that come after you, but um, given the length of this, probably need a bit more. Um, like I, I get that, that they wanted the Vorta guns to be more of like a, a like a friendly thing, but they kind of gave up that enemy type, and I don't know. They maybe should have had something else to to spice it up, because it was it was really long for what it was, and it was like I think maybe too much puzzles. Um, so, like, believe it or not, like, yeah, there's maybe just a little bit too much puzzles uh, at, for the ending part. But like as I said, very very. Like, I'm, I'm nitpicking, and it was really good, I would say. Really, really good. Really well done. And I hope they do some more. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, I hope that, I, like, people are telling me that the blue shift and opposing force are, like, being worked on kind of thing. But it's not by these guys, so it's anyone's guess what those are going to be like. Because um, apparently Sierra's defunct now. So that's, um, that's something I actually didn't know. I didn't know that they were gone now. Um, so that leaves a, a little bit of possibility open, but it's still Gearbox, I think, that's still... I mean, we know Gearbox is, uh, is around. And you know how they are. So, yeah. I guess we'll see, won't we? Uh, but yeah, this is this is fabulous. I enjoyed it. And I like how this is telling, me, telling you what time it is right now and when I finished it. Um, as you can see, I kind of like OD'd on it. I just played it like all at once. I was really enjoying it, so I, I just like I kind of wanted to just get through it and have a fun time. Like not get through it as in like, um, <laughs> like like rush it. I like I, I'm only rushing it uh, like in terms of uploads because uh, Doom Eternal was coming out, so I'm like, oh, let's just get it done with. Uh, but also there was like Path of Exile at the end of the week that I kind of want to to do as well, so. But I was, I legit, like, it, I was, like, it was the experience I was really enjoying, um, and I was having a lot of fun with, and so I, I was, like, kind of, like, it's, it's not everyone, like, it doesn't come a, a around every once in a while, but, like, when it does, it's, like, a, just a game that comes out that's, like, oh, I really want to finish this kind of thing, and that's what, this was definitely that kind of thing, um, and, and titles like this are few and far between, uh, like, there's not a whole lot that, like, really, I really like, 
in terms of like just find really super enjoyable um i mean yeah it's it is what it is um i i, I just don't think there's too much good stuff because a lot of the a lot of my favorite developers are just like in the shitter now like blizzard doesn't do anything good um you know, valve doesn't release anything valve makes excellent stuff usually uh let's just ignore uh <laughs> let's just ignore what, what was the dota card game they did fucking <laughs> whatever it was you know what i'm talking about so let's ignore that um pgi has been crap for a while well i mean pgi was never that good but then they got even worse somehow um you know and who else is there not much not not many studios left right um i mean mostly like most of the time you see me i'm, I'm like playing indie games now like i, I play like a uh, slate aspire and um what else I mean, I just played Iron Fury. Uh, I'm playing Doom Eternal next because Doom 2016 was really good, so I'm up for that. So, and that's what I mean. I think, I think, um, honestly, for me, indies like getting more where I'm at. I like these kind of like these kinds of games where it's like not really super indie, but more like because indie kind of just sounds hipster. It's not super indie, but it's more like kind of like weird. Um, Kind of like a bit above that, not like a pixel game, but like there's an actual like, you know, they they made an actual like shooter and stuff out of it, right? So, I think it's excellent, um, and I hope I hope to I hope more of this becomes a trend kind of a thing. I, I it was it was good. It, this is really good. Like I said, this was like honestly like just like a triple A game kind of a thing. Uh, to, like when I first played it, when I first played the mod, like way back when totally blew me away i did not expect that like to be it to be that like that polished um without all being said and done the zen design was amazing in this i think the level design was a little bit worse than the original like the what the, they originally did with black mesa so the level the the level design was really good all throughout Black Mesa, but Zen kind of got a little bit worse. The environment was great. I'm not criticizing the environment. The environment was way beyond what I expected. I really did like the the like the um, what's we call it the 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 kind of there's more kind of like fan lore to it now. I I do enjoy that, but just near the end it kind of got a little bit too puzzly, and some of those puzzles were kind of like meh. So. Um, like I said, I kind of uh, it got it. it I said usually Half Life is like like lot like combat, like lot, lots of combat. Then you mix it up with a, a little bit of a puzzle, but it just got like puzzle after puzzle near the end. Um, and yeah, wasn't a huge fan of that. Um, it, it, it like I said, if they if they if they spaced it out a bit more, but like like I said, I think they didn't do as much combat just because they didn't have enough enemy variety. So it kind of got, got kind of boring, I guess, because it was just like the fucking big head guys basically all the time near the end. Uh, and they were like taking over the Vortigons and, and stuff like that. I don't know. As I said, it, that part was just a bit underdeveloped. Um, but I I can't say, I, I won't say I hated it because it was actually really good still. So um, like I said, it's very nitpicky uh, what I'm doing. And I, I would definitely go revisit this again at some point. So they should be really proud of what they did. They did a really good, good job with this. So uh, so thanks for tuning in and watching and enjoying this guy with me. Um, I had a great time, and I hope you did too. Um, I always seem to come back to Half-Life every once in a while. It's You know, I meme and I say it's like the ninth time I've done it, but it's honestly like the perfect game to, to make videos of because it's like um, there's not a whole lot of dialogue that that is really important. I mean, like I spent like half the game basically killing scientists whenever i saw them like i just did i just thought i just thought it was a funny joke like just did, they weren't i i was kind of careful because the guys i was killing i either let them talk before i killed them or they i knew they were kind of like non-important characters so i just you know off them I, I just thought it was funny i was trying to be a funny guy i'm sorry if like that pissed someone off i i know like one or two people were just a little bit like angry at that the fact i did i did that uh <laughs> But like I let the important dialogue go. Uh most of the time, like I, I, I anticipated that they would they would die immediately. Like, for example, when you when you meet the special ops guys for the first time, I knew that Barney would die, so I'm just like, I'm just gonna kill him right away. <laughs> just to just to have fun with this. 
So it's, I don't know, it's my thing. But when I, as soon as I got to Zen, you notice I completely changed and I want to kind of more experience what, what they had done with it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I, I played through it. So, uh, like I said, it, this is like, you know, I, I, I think I, is it the last time I've ever played Half-Life, uh, the game? I don't know. Um, who knows? Maybe there's some sick crack life mod that I, that will come out. Um, oh yeah, just in case anyone's wondering, I'm not buying VR for Half Life Alex as much as I would like. That seems kind of interesting, and I know it's a Valve game, but um, it's a Valve game that requires a significant investment of something. I'm not I'm not crazy into VR, so I'm not really going to touch that. Uh, in case anyone wants you know to see it and and stuff like that, won't be on this channel. Sorry, unless. I'm sure someone will mod it to be non VR, but I think it'll just be shit. Cause like like what if you it's meant to be played with the VR, so you should play it with the VR. So um, I don't know, maybe maybe in a couple of years if the technology matures a little bit more, maybe who knows? Um, I'm just not that crazy into it because every time I play with VR, it's like uh, I don't know, it doesn't feel. It, I don't I don't I just I like I like a monitor, I like a keyboard, I like a mouse, so. Uh, that's that's why I kind of find it be fun. So that's what I want to that's what I want to do. So, anyways, I kept you all here long enough. Uh, so thanks a lot for hearing my ramblings, and uh, I'll see you for Doom Eternal coming next. Bye.